Browser, browser world. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do Cristiano Ronaldo. Awesome. So, but we're going to turn the paper long ways for this one, okay? So, I want you to see, guys, there's nothing up my sleeve. Nothing up my sleeve, okay? Uh, I have uh, just a marker here. I have a black. I have a gray. There's no guidelines on the paper. I'm just going to go straight from here to here, okay? Just like this. Boom, 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 boom. No, no I'm not going to do it. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get kicked off, guys. As always, remember, when you're drawing a caricature, you want to... My technique, there are two techniques to drawing caricatures. There's the outside in technique. That means you come from the shape of the face inward. And then also the technique where you can draw from the inside outward. Now, which technique is better? Neither one. They're both equally as effective depending on the artist. Some artists like to use a lot of exaggeration on the face okay if you're an artist that likes to exaggerate a lot on the face then i would recommend that you do the inside out because you never know how you're like if you do a three-quarter view you might want to emphasize the cheek a little bit more or your lips might be a little bit bigger so you want to go ahead and draw what you're going to be cartooning and then kind of fit the shape of the face around that if that makes sense to you okay so i'm going to use the outside in technique that's my personal technique because i don't do a lot of exaggeration i just try to do a basic cartoon of the person my experience has been that most individuals being drawn do not want to be made to look like really 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 funny like they want to still look like themselves but be a cartoon very little exaggeration just fix some of the imperfections so i i fix imperfections i'm a i'm a i'm a uh what am i i don't know i'm a guy that fixes people's faces <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna start with the bottom half of his face here so let's look at that real quick and he's kind of at a three-quarter view a little bit so Okay. All right, so this is the bottom half of the face, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some ears on the bottom half of the face. Now this ear is gonna be a little bit smaller than this ear here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the top shape. I'm gonna put the forehead shape, okay? So let's go ahead and look at that shape real quick. Let's see what that is. And then we'll go ahead and we'll start right about here, okay? And then we'll go ahead and we'll bring that shape around like that. Okay, now we're going to bring this shape here, around, around, and then we're going to do the top shape, which would be something like, like this. See how we did that? All right. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna draw our inner features. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw his face, okay? So remember that this, guys, right here, is the center of your face, okay? So what I'm gonna do, we have to keep everything lined up, 
You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and take away that line. All right. And I'm going to start on this side of the face here. And I'll do like this. I'm going to try to capture this expression. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw this shape here just like so. So let me see if I can get this right here. Let me look at it. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to draw this shape here. So I draw the dominant line first. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the nose here. Almost there, guys. All right, now I'm going to draw the mouth here. So let's see what that mouth looks like. And then what I'll do, what I like to do is I like to draw the dominant part of the mouth first. Something where it looks like he's doing like this. Okay, then I'm going to draw the front two teeth here. Okay. What a heck of a facial expression, right? Yeah. Okay. And pretty much, guys... We got our facial expression down here. So I'm just darkening in the eyebrows. All right. Okay. So now that we have the basic drawing down, okay? What we want to do here is we're just going to do a little bit of, you're going to do his shoulders here or whatever. So. Looks like he got the Adidas sign, Adidas thing going on here. So we want to get that in there. We can even do like, a, he got his soccer shirt on. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So we got our drawing down to a science, all right? We really don't have to do much else to it other than just shade the drawing in, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get this, uh, my gray marker out here, and I'll use my gray to color in the features, okay? Like the eyes here, okay? All right, now I'm gonna go ahead here and just put a shade line here. And put some shade here. Okay. We're almost there guys.
Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right. So, guys, I think we pretty much got the drawing down to a science as far as our line work is concerned. So, let me. Um, I'm going to start. I'm going to do his hair real quick. That's what's going to make this drawing really stand out because the darkness of his hair. Uh, compared to the rest of the drawing. So out for drawing out for my hair, I'm gonna use a Sharpie Magnum right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get kicked off with that. Okay, so that's the top part of the hair, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna use this other marker. The color on the side, just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over here. And color on the other side. awesomeness all right I think that's what we were looking for all right so guys I think we got a pretty good little drawing here. So what I want to do, I'm just going back over my lines real quick. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna go with a black Sharpie and I use my Sharpie at the end of my drawing. Yo, if you watched the stream before, uh, I use it to make my my uh, lot, my certain parts of the picture pop out a little bit more than others. So let me go ahead and show you how that works right here. So let me just turn my picture to the side. All right. You see that right there? We did that. And go ahead and we'll darken in this eye over here. Okay. Darken in the eyebrow over here. Underneath the chin just a little bit. And I like to use it on the side of the mouth a little because that helps to bring those features out. And here. Awesome. Miss. Okay. And one last thing here. Just put a couple of lines here. I like this because it makes it look a little bit more realistic. You know, with his hairs kind of taking on a natural flow. And maybe we can even just throw a little hairline in there in a little bit. Awesome. 
almost there guys all right all right I guess last but not least I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of color Randy <laughs> it looks funny all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh, maybe color in his shirt because it looks like I don't know I just I just want to do it why not so I just I'll just do this here when you have one of these big markers it really doesn't take that long Alright, so all we have to do now with that we're done is put CR7. <laughs> so we'll put it over here. Look. Let me go ahead and I guess we can use this marker here. And there you have it, guys. A quick cartoon. Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7. So hopefully you guys uh, were able to come up with one pretty cool at home. If you were drawing at home. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this drawing. It's going to be, we're going to put it in the archive. Uh, once again, guys, my style of drawing is to draw straight from the head to the paper. You know, whatever happens, happens. If I feel like I messed up or it's too far off, I'll go and I'll start again doing another drawing. Generally, that doesn't happen because I just trust the mind-body connection. Everybody's not going to like your artwork. Let me put that. Let me rewind what I just said. Everybody is not going to like your artwork. Okay? Everybody likes something different. I'm going to show you the sample. I'm gonna hold up my five fingers, right? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to think which finger, and I want you to make me move it with your mind. So I'm gonna move a finger and you tell me if that was the right one. So I'll start, I don't know, this one. Okay, let's do it again. What about this one? Okay, now we're gonna do it three times as a charm. What about this one? Okay, probably on most of those attempts, I, you were wrong about which finger I was going to move. That's because our minds are not connected in that way. In other words, I have to control my thought. You have to control it. So you're going to look at things a little bit different than me. So when someone doesn't like your drawing, don't get like upset about it and all that stuff like that because I've been drawing for a lot of years and some people don't like my drawings. I mean, so it's... uh. Uh, it's not about that. I draw uh, for personal fulfillment. Um, but I also keep in mind to be respectful to people when I am drawing their picture. So I will not insult them or anything like that. Okay. So uh, <laughs> you don't like my fingers. Oh, man. I got some ugly. I know I got some. I got some. My, 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 uh, my mom always said my hands are like super fat. I got big fat fingers. <laughs> I try. To, I want to learn how to play the piano. I put actually. I'm really good. I like music, but it seems like when I try to press the piano thing, I press like three keys at one time. And what do you mean you don't like my fingers, caricaturized? What's up with that, man? All right, so let me go ahead and put CR7 away. Let you guys see it up close. Let's get a little. Wait. Let's get a little closer to the camera for you. So this is what I came up with. <laughs> All right.